Hi, uh, resident. This is the pra uh, hi, uh, hi, resident. This is the practitioner, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, uh, parapsychologist actually now, um, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. Um, thought I might uh, drop a couple of um, points in on this. Um, number one. Um, if you're going around uh, asking people for their two cents worth in the United States about it, um, might as well at least give you a Canadian perspective since we're fairly close to you but with a couple of minor differences. Um, in various different, um, our university base is uh, government is partly government run. Um, it's generally regulated. Um, it's generally regulated from province to province. Um, some provinces have what's called regulated tuition rates, which basically means that they can only increase with the current rate of inflation. Other provinces do not. What's interesting is the fact that the um, is that the current uh, quality of education, um, particularly, uh, is is actually generally uniform pretty well across the board in Canada. And uh, a couple of the universities, which are government funded, are even as good as Harvard in one of those cases. One of which is McGill University. Um, the problem with our current system is the fact that um, accessibility of education to everybody. Um, I mean. As uh, as you pointed out in this uh, in this clip, a smarter people um, are uh, a smarter a smarter people means a smarter country. Um, uh, means a better country overall. The slight problem is the fact that um, I'm trying to put this as delicately as possible. We in Canada have um, a problem of uh, greater accessibility and the like because of the fact that um, we are trying to constantly regulate our tuition rates, but. Um, we are having a much we are having a considerably greater fight up here than probably down in the U.S. to even um, maintain this regulation, largely because of the fact that uh, in the U.S. there is either no regulation at all in some states, uh, or not even considering the idea, or um, in the areas where it is state-run, there's been not really much of a um, you know of a, of a reason to contest that. California has had a tradition of maintaining uh, a state-run university. Student loans in the states. Pardon? Oh, that's the other thing. They don't have student loans either, which also um, which also makes it even more inaccessible for some people. Um, anyway, like I said, that's why it's a little bit more... Um, anyway, in, in Canada, we have a much more complicated system. And um, in some cases, it's, it's just basically making things considerably more difficult for students to uh, both be able to maintain greater education, but simultaneously be productive enough in the workplace that they're not having to pay back the government constantly. A, um, a person who is just uh, entirely focusing on their debt or something like that cannot, might not necessarily be uh, caring as much about their work, only caring about paying back the student debt. That means there's less money in the pocket of the university student who's come back, uh, therefore less to spend in the economy and therefore a lesser economy. Um, actually, which does seem a little surprising. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to mention uh, was, like I said, great video overall. But um, I was a little bit surprised that um, for the clip that you posted on YouTube, it was only you asking man, uh, people on the street. The only, reason I, um, the only reason I have a problem with this is the fact that there are so many different news groups. Uh, Fox, um, CNN, um, oh god, uh, CBS has done this before once or twice. Um, I, uh, Canada's, done, uh, Canada's news sources have done this tons. But the, the whole concept of, um, of taking a survey of um, on any important issue of what the man in the street thinks um, is not necessarily the best reflective uh, the ne is not necessarily the best reflective um, way of measuring uh, either what the general public thinks or um, what the best solution is for the issue. And the reason for this is there are two uh, there's two reasons for um, as to why interviewing the man in the street is a little bit difficult or man or woman in the street whichever. Anyway. Point being, uh, the first one is called the ad populum fallacy. This is the context that, um, in the event that you are getting a reflective sample of the majority, um, the bulk of them may not necessarily have any expertise in a particular, area, say, education or something like that. Like they may not even know um, what is best for educating children. They might not have any psych background. They might not have any background in education history. They might not, you know, like they don't have a, they don't have any context to this. So to, um, so just because of a. Uh, so just because of what the man in the street says is not something you should take as literal truth. Oh, thanks. Good thing about oranges. Their uh, peels are a perfect shield. Anyway, the other thing which is the problem is the fact that um, if you watch Penn and Teller Bullshit, uh, they do an episode on, um, on polls anyway. But um, ironically, there was an expert who Fox News constantly brings in who uh, showed perfectly well that you can ask a, a person in a poll the exact same question in two different ways and get two very different answers. And what he said was that, um, and he said he did this to illustrate the point that the public, um, 
should not take part in the electoral process or anything like that because they're too uninformed. Well, in this particular point, I agree in half with the pollster. The general average public may not necessarily know anything or, again, that, ha that odd populum fallacy coming in, which means we need a better informed public. So I do agree with what everyone's saying there. Like, like I said, for one of, the, one of those few times, they happen to get it right. You know, the, the, overall, uh, the overall conclusion that your clip came to, I agree with. The methodology of how you got there, or at least for that particular clip, not necessarily the best idea. I would have recommended, um, you know, taking a look at uh, stats. You know, um, uh, there was a 2020 report, uh, which is also here on YouTube, which um, was done a little while back, where um, they took a look at um, various different educational techniques compared to the American public school system as it so stands right now. And um, what's interesting is that they actually found uh, uh, new systems like chartered schools, um, you know, various other, um, uh, you know, contingencies that were used in various other countries and the like. And they were able to show um, the overall marking systems, you know, using the exact same international marking system, they were able to show that even the um, local districts in the U.S., which use different systems to uh, the public school system or amendments to the public school curriculum or stuff like that, um, they were able to show an entire marking system of how uh, GPA performance and other things like that, which are measures of how effectively one learns the education, uh, you know, one learns the material in an education, uh, how they were able to show uh, much higher marks and the like compared to schools which were using the traditional formats. So, um, like I said, um, probably your full show does go into this in greater detail. It's just that um, if you're going to do little blurb clips like this uh, for YouTube, I'd advise, use, I'd advise against using the man in the street perspective because of the fact that uh, for critical thinkers such as myself, um, it might be a bit of a turnoff. Now, fortunately, of course, I'm a little bit of a, um, you know, I've got enough of, a, uh, of an extrapolation to see the possibility that you might have covered this. But nonetheless, um, you know, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of people, probably a whole bunch of people have commented on your video on this. Um, you know, I'm probably bad at it right off the bat. So just a uh, little tip for future from uh, one critical thinker to another. Great goal, great idea of working it, but try to avoid the uh, man on the street approach as um, it's not necessarily the best approach to finding anything about the truth. Anyway, that's just my take. Just that, That's just my thought. Take it for what you will. See ya. Or toodles, as I prefer to say.